just turned up a smoker. I was just telling Sarah right here, see these two tree roots right here? That acts like a catch. So anything, that tree's probably 40 years old. So anything that could have fell out of this bank, washed out, have been trapped in between these two roots. So we've been scratching with this rake. I've been picking at it. Look what I just flipped up right here. That is a killer find. That's exactly what we was out here sweating for. That's an archaic stem point. It's probably a Kirk corner notched. Look at that thing. I guarantee you we're going, I'm going to scratch a little deeper, maybe find something else. Look at that dude. It is humid as can be. We are sweating. We've been at it for probably 45 minutes. Found that little frog and the turtle and one flake over there. We just turned up. This is what we came down here for. We got a break right here on the base. But I'll take that all day. That's, an, that's probably an 8,000 year old point. All right, we did some more raking. I think that's a broken piece of a steatite bowl. See the curvature to it? It's not pottery, that's for sure. All right, what I was doing right here, see that root and that root arm? I'm sitting here scraping with the edge of that thing. It acts like arms and they just want to hold on to it and then flip that up. Same right below that uh, archaic stem point we have. Lightning cut us short yesterday, so we called it quits. I'm going solo today, see if we can finish up in between these roots. Surely we can find one or two more artifacts, maybe up at a spot I found over here as well, but I still think there's something fell out of this bank in between these roots being held up. We got lucky finding that archaic yesterday. It was a huge find. I really wasn't expecting to find much, but I'm glad I got to show her an example as I was just talking about these roots acting like a catch, but we'll see if they're holding anything else in place. Yep. We got one little piece of pottery flaked up. I caught it right here in the pile sticking out. So there's another artifact. We're about 30 minutes in today. Got that one piece of pottery. That's all we've got. Check out this humidity. This stuff is no joke. We might have raked up a small thumb scraper. That quartz just jumped out to me. It looks like it might be beat up a little bit on that side. I believe that was man work by a little bit. Not a whole lot though. We have got a smoker. I can't remember what the name of this is off the top of my head. I'm checking this tree branch that grew across this ditch about 30 yards where we was. Check, I'll check this out. See this little gully? So anything that hits that branch may stop. I've got an absolute gem. Look at that, it's hard to see right there, but you can see the base on that. Oh my God. The tip may be slightly gone, but I don't even care. Dang, what is that, a Dalton or something? That is an incredible, but dang, what is that base called? I ain't found one like that. I don't know if I've ever found a good base like that. That concaved. Look at the ears on that. At first glance, I want to say Halifax, but I think Halifax is a shade different. Man, we have got a killer point. That's why we're in here toughing it out in this humidity right now. Look at that, Jim. I'm gonna get a sweat hanging from my nose. But that's why I'm out here for stuff like this. That is an incredible find. I wish I could get you the name off that. I'll look, I'm about to look on my phone right quick. I'll get you the name of that. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Is it a LaCroix? Does LaCroix sound right? It could be a LaCroix, a LaCroix point. That's what one of my buddies just taught me. I seen some out of his collection. That's what I'm thinking that is a LaCroix. I'll get back to you. If that is a LaCroix point, that is absolutely first to my collection. I think a LaCroix is uh, five to 6,000 years old. God, that is a killer find, that base. We have been spoiled on this hunt. I wish my Sarah was here with me, look at that. Tip's gone, but I could care less. That base tells it all. I do not have a base like that at all. I don't think anybody of my friends, family, neighbors, the guy I'm talking to, he found his LaCroix. He's really far away from where I'm at. That is incredible. Is that focusing for you? I think I'm wrong on the LaCroix base. My buddy, he just got back to me. That could be a big sandy contracting base, which doesn't hurt my feelings. That could be even older. That could be up to 10,000 years old. That's what that is, a big sandy contracting base. It does look similar in the quick reference I just checked. I'm gonna study this bad boy hard. That is, that is 
Man, I'm, I'm speechless on that one because I have no bases like that whatsoever. Perfect base. got our letter of authenticity back in the mail today from Dickey. I sent this off about a month ago. You can send it off to him to get it verified. He's probably got the most knowledge out of anybody out there. He's got us down as a cave spring point. That's the point I've never heard of and I don't have anything like that in my collection. So that's why I'm real tickled to have that something new. But I'll show you what he wrote right here. See here, the Jerry T. Dickey Certificate of Authenticity, The Solid Rock. 19 years of serving and collecting the community with accuracy and integrity. There's his website if you want to send yours off one day to get authenticated. He has got us as a cave springs or similar. I thought it was a fishtail Dalton point, which does look similar. And he explained how they're not really found in our area. Uh, he's got evaluation archaic period point, probably dating to the final stages of the early archaic to middle archaic period. So this is probably the oldest point one of the oldest and coolest looking points I've ever found besides the archaic and the current corner notched and whatnot. But I have no base like that whatsoever in any, any of my shadow boxes, nothing. That's why I was just really tickled to see one like that. All right, I'm gonna get this framed up. They make some cool free floating frames for these points in between two plexiglasses. And uh, that's definitely going up on the, uh, the mantle. Gonna get a nice frame for the ticket as well. Appreciate you guys tagging along with us on Below the Banks. In the meantime, like and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more points in the future.